Hello and welcome. I'm Sylvia Taylor, Chief Marketing Officer here at ProList. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar on mail tracking. It's a very timely topic and one of utmost importance to anyone who is utilizing direct mail these days. To be honest, it's really the only tool we have to gather insights and information about what's going on inside the United States Postal Service when it comes to mail delivery. I have just a few quick housekeeping items before we get started. If you do have questions during the presentation, please do submit them. We will be doing a short Q&A at the end of the session. Also, as an attendee, you will receive a copy of this presentation as well as a link to the recording for the session. So there's no need to worry about taking copious notes or missing anything during the presentation. Without any further delay, I would like to introduce Dave Lewis, president of Snailworks. Dave is a nationally known expert on direct mail and postal matters. He also provides the day-to-day -day sales and marketing guidance for Snailworks, which is a sister company of ProList. Snailworks provides a very robust, comprehensive, and user-friendly mail tracking interface. Dave is also a very entertaining speaker and has a knack for making even the driest postal topics a tad more exciting. Uh, hold on. One more second. I'm good. I am unmuted. Sorry about that. Oh, don't be sorry. I, I went panicking out the whole way here. Fortunately, we're in the same building today. You ready for me to go? Yes, we're all ready. Okay, we always like to make it colorful at the beginning. Hi, I am Dave Lewis, as Sylvia said, and I'm the I'm the president of Snailworks. I'm the vice president of, of ProList. I've got and Snailworks, just for a quick explanation, um, it's a we're we're a partner of ProList, and we really grew out of ProList as well. Um, you know, ProList developed this innovative tracking system and multi-channel marketing system that kind of became its own thing at Snellworks. So we're still very, very definitely partners. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm right around the corner from Sylvia right now. So let's talk a, a, just a quick description of what we do at Snellworks, which is our mission is to take complicated postal service programs, basically, and use them to provide insights into the mail. So we work mostly these days with informed delivery and informed visibility. And we'll touch on both of those as we go through. Uh, but those are both programs kind of hard to use on your own. So we help our clients use those and make them and bring value to them. The services that we have, we do mail tracking. We're gonna be looking at that today. We do informed delivery advertising. We'll be looking at that a little bit today. Um, digital marketing, marketing support, and, and you can't have enough P's in the word support, I always say, um, but uh, that uh, yeah, is, is something where we coordinate uh, emails and landing pages with, uh, with direct mail. We're not going to talk about it much today, but it is something we do, and not the season yet, but political mail tracking was a huge part of our business last year. So that said, that, that's the end of the Snailworks commercial, and let's talk about mail tracking, why it's important, <coughs> excuse me, and... Um, and how you can participate in it. So this is really kind of a broad overview of mail tracking, showing some of the newer things that are involved in it. So if you're familiar with this, you still might learn a couple of things. Um, but one of the things to keep in mind, and we've certainly seen a lot of this, is that the Postal Service right now still is struggling. They've had a, they've had a tough year, and I did a whole separate presentation on their year for DMAW recently, um, but they are still struggling. Mail delivery continues to be a problem. Uh, to some extent, it's gotten better. I do want to stress that it has gotten better, but still it's less predictable than it's been. And you know, who, what could happen in the future? Everything's gone so smoothly so far in the last year, but well, you know, hopefully it'll be, it'll be smooth. Uh, so one of the big changes we've seen is how mail is inducted and this keeps changing. And by inducted, I mean given to the post office, submitted. Uh, we see a lot more drop ship and co-mingle. We don't, in other words, we don't just take it to the clerk, local clerk and, and submit it. And also there's a thing coming up in the next couple of months called seamless acceptance, where the, where the uh, mailer will upload an e-doc uh, that describes the mailing. And uh, then based on that, the mail doesn't really even get checked in or checked so much. The postal service will check a sample and then you just drop the mail off. And confirming that that mail has been submitted on the schedule you expected, is gonna become very important in the coming months and years. And 
This graph, by the way, is, is worth showing just to give you an idea of, of how mail's been traveling. Um, this is first class pre sorted mail that we've been tracking. This is based on a pretty big sample, about 50,000 pieces a day. We've been tracking forever now. Um, and pre sorted, first, first class pre sort is the, is the fastest mail there is, pretty much. Um, and you can see it used to be three and a half days. And then in the summer, it got a little worse. Everyone got worried about the election. Then December, it was just a train wreck, December and January. You know, seven days may not sound that terrible, but for first class pre sort mail, that really is dramatically uh, bad. And it's still, and, and now we can see it is trailing off and it has been staying better, but just kind of a, that's why tracking mail becomes so important. So here's some of the things you need, some of the reasons you really need to track mail today. We've always encouraged it, but it's kind of a necessary thing. Um, one, and this is sort of a different thing to make sure all your mail is in the mail stream. Because with seamless acceptance, the Postal Service isn't doing that for you. If all the mail's not there, that's not really their problem. So if we leave a skid behind or thing, and things like that happen at all kinds of, at all uh, mail service providers, if, if, if mail's not in the truck, um, if there's a problem getting it accepted, um, this is a way to make sure all your mail is in mail stream. You can do that with mail tracking. Um, when things aren't delivering the way you you expected, and we saw a lot of this again um, in the in the uh, holiday season, and it continues to some extent. It gives you a way to understand what's going on and why uh, and and why it is. And uh, a lot of times, you need to explain what's going on to your boss and to your clients um, to let them know what's going on with the with their mail and uh, or and with the mail that you're responsible for. So mail tracking again gives you a tool to know what's going on. If you're coordinating other channels, very important that you coordinate them on a timely basis. So again, using, uh, and, and we see this a lot with, uh, with the nonprofits who are triggering emails and things like that uh, can be important to do that. Plan and staff for response. Again, knowing when your mail gets delivered knows you, lets you know when to staff your call center. Um, we're gonna talk about this a little bit too. Now with inbound tracking, you can get immediate intelligence on response. So you can know uh, right away if uh, if there's uh, you know how people are responding, how your mail's doing. This was really important to our nonprofits in, during the uh, beginning of the pandemic, in particular, because it was it was like the wild west. They didn't know what they were mailing into, uh, and finally, just to know what's delivering and when. It really is nice to know your mail's been delivered. It may, you know it makes me sleep better at night, and and hopefully you too. So let me just run quickly through the basics of how this works. And the program we're working through is informed visibility. That's a postal service program. And so most mail that travels uh, through the postal service, and when I talk about mail, I'm talking about letters and flats generally. Packages are a whole different world. Um, so this is really about letters and flats. But most of it is scanned by the postal service, either particularly on letters as it goes through a sorting machine, obviously enough the, that intelligent mail barcode is scanned. Um, and we get information on where it is. Sometimes on other mail, uh, we'll see scans of the pallets and of the trays. So it, for flats may not go through sorting equipment, but we can follow the pallets and trays. So it beca it's become much easier to track with informed visibility. Um, so these are scans of the intelligent mail barcode and the raw data comes to Snailworks. And there's others, we, but there's others who do what we do, but generally there's a third party uh, service bureau that takes this raw data and sorts it into, into the pretty reports we're gonna show you. Um, because it's pretty hard to work with just as the raw data from informed visibility. So ProList, again, we offer services uh, for tracking outbound and inbound mail, and that's using Snailworks and informed visibility. So that's kind of the, the team we use to get you that data. Uh, your project manager at, at ProList is going to be the key to teach, teaching you how to get logged in if you don't know how to get logged into the system and look at your reports. Um, and you can look at, at reports by first scan or delivery scan. And let me talk a little bit about what those are, because again, we're talking about when the mail is scanned in the mail stream. The first scan is the first scan. It's the first time we see the mail. Uh, if things are going well, that'll be as the mail is coming off the truck at the post office, um, the fast appointment is being closed or something like that. And I'll show you what the, all, all that looks like in a second. Uh, but that's the first scan. And that's really what the one you want to look at to make sure that your mail has been mailed, that it's all in the mail stream. And then the delivery scan is when the mail gets delivered. And that's our, and a lot of times we don't actually, the, the letter carrier doesn't scan the piece of mail, but we can tell from when the mail gets given to the carrier and when the carrier walks by the address, when the mail did get delivered. 
Um, we can also integrate informed delivery, which is my favorite postal product. That's the email you get before your mail gets there to let you know what's there. And you can set up a campaign as a mailer to make everything uh, colorful and put a link right there. It's really growing quickly. Um, and then snail work reports, we can access them online and we're gonna be looking at that. Or you can also have them sent to you. If you talk to your, uh, to your project manager and you wanna have, for example, a daily report on just how much mail got delivered today from a mailing or from all your mailings, uh, your project manager can help you set that up in the system. So let's go just kind of illustrate what some of these things look like. Proof of mailing, again, that's the first scan that proves the mail has been inducted. Um, you know, because I, I always say, you know, informed visibility can't prove your mail got delivered, but it can prove the post office has it. And so this is a great, this, this, I, I hope you can see it, this little illustration down here. These are the scans that one piece of mail went through. Um, and this is one, of, this is a Snailworks client out in California who did the mailing. And so, they, you can see the fast appointment arrived at 4.05 p.m. on the 29th of April. And that's a, they, that's a Zoom scan, so that means they, tra they scanned the pallet. Um, and then all, so that's, that's the start the clock. That tells us the mail was mailed. Um, the container was accepted by the post office. It traveled to Cudahy, to DeSoto, to Atlanta, to Woodlawn, to the downtown annex. And finally, on the 7th, it got delivered. Um, and out of the Fairview facility. Um, and that 517, all these different codes here tell us what's happening to the post office, to the mail piece. There's a ton of information on here that we can interpret for you. This is just sort of a graph. It's kind of a funny graph because all the mail got accepted on one day, 100% of it. So we just have one big bar. Uh, sometimes you'll have, you know, you may have multiple bars. Um, interpreting mail, mail induction can be a little tricky and we can help you with that as well. Anticipating and planning for response. These are some of the reports that come out of uh, Snailworks and, and that Prolist can provide. And they're very basic, very simple to understand. Um, on, the, on the left here is, um, is, the, um, is how many pieces got delivered every day. You've got a graph of it if you're a graph person. Um, and we also provide it numerically so you can see and you can see when your doubling day is and things like that. You, you, all that information is right there. How many pieces are getting delivered on a daily basis? Um, but that's and that's the most basic view of and for staffing call centers and just knowing mail got delivered um that can that's that probably is the first thing people want to see is just how much of their mail has been delivered um but we can also break that down into great detail so you can see um you know by state how many pieces have been delivered um, how many pieces got delivered in each state and each day and you can see there's a lot of variation uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a big range. This yellow shading, by the way, is, was a targeted in-home date for this customer. So some got mailed early or some got delivered early. Depends on what you're mailing. Usually that's okay. Um, when there are delivery issues, mail tracking, you could see all that detail we had gave us the opportunity, uh, gives us the opportunity to investigate the problems. So one of the reports we have in, in Snailworks is this nice map that shows you green colors, you know, what, how your mail is, how much of your mail has been scanned so far. Sometimes it's, a, it's an unfortunate shade of colors. Um, this, this first one here has some delivery issues. And so having the detail that we have here gives us the ability to work with the postal service to drill in and try to find out where the problems are and get them resolved, of course. Um, one of the other things that's really cool, and we just started doing this last year in a big way, and it's growing very quickly, is the concept of tracking response, which is we can tr take your put a take the uh, barcode on your BRE or your CRE that the offset printed barcode, and we can tell you how many responses you're getting every day. We can't tell you who they're from because all the barcodes are the same, but we can distinguish between the pieces, and that's kind of a, the secret code the Postal Service has that we do that with. So you can tell your responses every day. Very simple. Again, back in. Uh, but when we were doing this in, in the beginning of the pandemic, this was very, very important to our nonprofits because they, they, you know, they should they mail, should they not mail? They need to get response. They didn't want to wait for the caging house. So they got that information immediately. Um, the other thing, and this is kind of, and we'll, again, we're going to go into a little bit of detail on this. We also are tracking informed delivery. If Prolis creates the informed delivery campaign for you, um, we can track how many pieces are, how many subscribers exist in each state and each zip code to whatever level you want. So you, when you're looking at your, at your mail tracking reporting, you're also seeing how many, how many um, impressions have been delivered 
on uh, on the uh, informed delivery. You can see how many of those have, have been delivered. And um, then you can also run, this is a report for the overall job. So you can look at the, uh, again, this is the number of pieces mailed. And these are splits. We break, all of our reporting breaks down to splits. So if you're doing versions, very easy to look at your versions. I'll show you a little bit more of that as we, as we get into this. Um, so uh, in this case, they mailed 83,000 pieces. 22.8 um, of them were, were um, informed delivery subscribers. So almost 20,000. 17.4% uh, um, did get an email. They got a 68% um, uh, open rate. They got 33 clicks out of it, which is that you know, people don't do informed delivery for the clicks generally, but it's nice to see it. And we can even get information on individuals within it. So I can tell that it, if Sylvia um, got the email and opened it, or maybe she and someone else in her household got it, then there'd be two emails. And if they click, we'll see all that. And so you can maintain that data. And particularly for your house list, you can update it with that information. So, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go through the process here of tracking a project. And we'll sort of see how it, uh, you know, it, it illustrate how it works. So when you log in, you're going to find, and again, your, your project manager is going to help you get logged in. You're going to see a list of your jobs uh, that, that, that have been tracked for you. So this is one job I've kind of zeroed in on here. Um, that was mailed in pretty recently, March 29th. I try to stay current on these. Um, and so there's a, our job number is generally going to be here, the ProList job number, your job title will be here. And then these are three that was made, it was three splits. So you'll see all three splits listed, house list, angels list, acquisition in this case. Um, all this information in the middle gives you some clues about what's going on with that mail. O means it's outbound mail. S mean it's, means it's standard mail. Now standard mail, I know the hip term is USPS marketing mail. That's what it's officially called. Uh, we found M confusing. Most people still kind of think of it as standard mail. So that's, uh, you know, that is USPS marketing mail. Um, the piece type, is it a letter or a flat? Makes a big difference in tracking. Uh, letters track a lot easier and, and they're a little more reliable than letters. If it's a flat, they sort of follow sort of some different paths. Um, is there ACS? Is someone getting ACS information, address, address uh, correction information sent to them? And we can tell here in this case, they were not. Um, what data mailed? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, was there an ID campaign? And this one, they did have an ID campaign, an informed delivery campaign. So all that information on, on what's in the mail is there. Then we have how many pieces were mailed, how many of those were tracked. It's usually all of them. And then what percentage we've gotten tracked to delivery. Um, so that's what this 94.6 is. And I want to point out that these are the, I've broken this out. So these are the three splits. And then the yellow is the sum, is the total of the mailing. And you can view this either way. So you can click on the yellow, on the yellow and see the whole mailing, or you can look at any of the splits and see how they're performing too. And it can make a big difference, especially if you have different classes or different, uh, different days that, uh, that the splits are going. Um, so you click on the job. So that's the general bar. When you click on it, it'll take you into a lot more detail. Now, this is kind of the same view we looked at before, which is the number of pieces that are delivered each day. Um, so this one, it, you know, it, it's usually you see something of a, a bell-shaped curve. Um, this did have multiple splits, so I can't tell from this view if this, is, if this was delayed mail or just maybe mail that, that went into the system a little bit later. But you know that when you do the mailing, so you can kind of tell how your mailing's doing, if it's delivering on time. If your response is not what you expected, maybe the mail hasn't delivered yet. Um, so this is the most basic view. Um, you can set this to view by delivery date, which is what most people do. But if you're trying to find out just if your mail's in the mail stream or do a little bit of diagnosing, you can go up here for scan type and select first scan. And then you're gonna be looking at it by, is it even in the mail stream? Um, and so let me see, you can view one split or all of them combined, which I told you about. Um, again, see how many pieces delivered each day. Well, then there's uh, this uh, up here in report type, this whole menu drops down to show you lots of different views you can get of your mail and how it's delivering. Um, you can break it down into geographic views again, which is especially if there's a problem, kind of what we do, you can see how many pieces by state. Um, and, uh, or, well, actually, said, yeah, you can see how many pieces are delivered in each state each day. So sometimes you have one state uh, where the mail delivery is bad. And in fact, this case, Idaho looks pretty bad. So if I was looking at this job live, I'd probably want to drill into Idaho and see what's going on there. Why does the mail so late? 
And, uh, and if you have late mail and you want to dip, where is that late mail? It's just one state that kind of makes a difference. Uh, we're also looking at the number of informed delivery subscribers by state here. And then working from this, this is, this is kind of the coolest thing about Snailworks as far as mail tracking, I think. It's very, very easy to drill down for details. So this is that same view I was just looking at, but I'm going to select Maryland. And so I click on Maryland and I'm going to see all the three digits contained within Maryland. Same information here, the same, now the ID subscribers are broken down by three digit. And I'm going to pick 217 and drill down further. And now I'm seeing all the five digit zip codes that were mailed to in, in the 217 area. And finally, I'm going to click 21701. And that takes me to that particular zip code. And so this is a listing of all the mail pieces by serial number that we mailed into that zip code. So we went from all of this, and I don't know, this was hundreds of thousands of pieces down to an individual zip code. And I'm going to go one step further and click on a mail piece. And hey, it's me. I was, you know, I was in this mailing, and this kind of shows uh, when I got the mail. Uh, it was on, on April 8th. I did get on April 8th, by the way. Now this one only shows. This doesn't show an entry scan. So that's one of the things. Again, interpreting these sometimes takes a little bit of work. But we can see when it got delivered. It got sorted in Baltimore and delivered the next day. And Baltimore, by the way, does handle Frederick. So you know, there, there's very easy to go from a national view to get that kind of detail. And again, all, the, all of this is in this, uh, this pull down menu where you've got uh, searches, you can search by a mail piece, you can enter Dave Lewis into that same job with a mail piece lookup and find me that way. Um, you can view by, you can get a mail piece detail as a listing of all your pieces in a mailing. Um, you can download all these things. You wouldn't want to look that, at that on your computer, I don't think. You can view by split, US map, postal area, NDC. Uh, if, you, if you give us induction points, you can view by induction point. Lots of, lots of options. Oops, went too fast there. Informed delivery and on and on. It, you, there's inbound tracking and all that. Again, it, 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 it's, there's just a lot of capability within this system. Let's talk a little bit about tracking response. Um, am I talking fast enough for you? Let's see, it's easy to track response because we're, again, what we're doing is we're putting the appropriate um, IMB, inter, in, in, intelligent mail barcode on the envelope. So what you do, the process is you can send ProList an existing, uh, existing art on your reply envelope, and we're going to update it to make it trackable. All we're really going to do is change the barcode. We're going to flip a few bars, and then you can see how many pieces of mail are coming back to you. And it's really that simple. And in this case, this is, this is a client who does their renewals uh, and, and tracks them. So they use the same barcode all year long. And they just see it up and down. That's what how many pieces are getting each day. The other people may do a, a unique barcode for a job. Some people do a unique barcode for a split. But either way, we can track everything that's coming back in for you as well. Um, so a, a couple of, of questions we get on this a lot is if we if we modify your envelopes to make them trackable, you can still use them as right. You know, when you're done, when you have another project, if you want to print a zillion of them and just track them every now and then, it doesn't hurt to have that tracking code. It just you just won't view the results if you're not looking for it. And on that, the price is usually set on the number of the IMBs granted. So you pay you know something to just get the the uh, the intelligent mail barcode made trackable and provide and get the tracking service. Um, like I said, most mail, some mailers use one IMB for renewals or acquisitions. Some people use them for each job. Whatever strategy you want. Other thing I want to talk a little bit about is informed delivery. Again, we're not, uh, that's a, that's a whole presentation unto itself, but we do have informed delivery tracking that I think is worth taking a look at. Um, when you create a campaign with ProList, and you kind of have to do that because that's how we're going to be able to get the data. Uh, you get a summary report and see who, uh, who got it. And you can also, and when I say who got it, you can actually find the individuals who got it. So this is, uh, I think this is that mailing we were looking at earlier, but this is a, um, nah, something different, but it's an April appeal that somebody did. Um, it was 260,000 pieces altogether. And they got 18 points. Again, you can see just what the results were. Now, in this case, they got 778 clicks. So that's pretty good. Uh, and, and again, these are people who could click. That's, that's not all the clicks or the response for the campaign. That's just people who clicked on the informed delivery ad when they saw it. So that's often for a lot of our customers, sort of an extra little revenue stream. And then you can select all the detailed data. And I've, I've crossed out the names, of course, here. But you can see each individual 
if they got the email, if, if first of all, if they're on the list, they're a subscriber to informed delivery. And that is about uh, 40 million people now, 40 million consumers. You can see when they got it, if they, if they got an email, um, some houses, you can see they got two emails uh, because there's two subscribers in the household. Uh, if they opened it, um, if they clicked, and these all, these people all clicked, I kind of cheated and sorted this so I could show some clicks there. But it, it, it's, uh, you know, so all the information on individuals. So if you want to take this list and update your house file with it to see who these people are, you can. Um, so if you're tracking a project overall, just kind of review what we've run through here. You can confirm when it was mailed by looking at the first scans on the job. And again, I, I'm going through a lot of stuff in a hurry here. Your project manager or our team here at Staleworks also, we can all help you walk through this a thing at the time. Um, you confirm when it was mailed, you can track the mails that delivers across the country or across the state or whatever region you're doing, um, either online or you can have reports automatically sent to you. So you don't even have to log in to see how your mail is doing. Um, you can view delivery levels, details right down to the piece level. So every piece has a unique IMB on it. Um, so you can look first scan or delivery. Um, you can see all the details uh, down, to the, down to the individual piece level if you need to. And I got to tell you, that was a, we had a, a retail, one of the big retail uh, department stores, uh, the Black Friday, they had a Black Friday mailing a couple of years ago. And on the Tuesday before the president of these, of the chain who lived in Manhattan had not gotten his and a, a very panicked mailer called me on that. And we were able to identify exactly what it was. He, uh, everyone else in the zip code had gotten it. <laughs> But he was on a seed list, though he hadn't yet. But being able to look at things at a piece level, big deal. Save, the, save that mailhouse, probably, or kept that account for them, at least. Again, you can see how your response is. You can keep an eye on your informed delivery. Um, you know, a, a, Again, a pro list creates your program. You can see the detail level on how that's working and use that to append your lists. And, you can, and, and, and this is a nice thing, too, which is our dashboards are accessible for two years and, and really beyond that, but a minimum of two years. The detailed data is six months. The, the dashboard is available for two years. And so if you want to see what happened last year, or how did these different versions do last year, that data is accessible. So to get started, very easy. If, if you'd like, again, I know we I went through this real fast. If you want a full time, a, a real online demo, you can reach out to us. We're happy to do that for you. Um, your contacts here at, uh, at ProList, Jeff Thomas, uh, Stephanie, Mark Garter, and me too. It's uh, dlewis at ProList.com. So we use a, a pretty simple formula. As long as you know our last name, you are you're home free. So that said, I'm uh, at, uh, after talk, I'm still, I'm still within my time limit here, Sylvia. But I see we got a couple of questions. Can you share this with me? Sylvia, I can't hear you. Yes. Hi, Dave. Sorry. There you are. I, I, I had to actually steal the steal the host from you to be able to do that. Uh, hopefully, you can we can unmute you now. Um, yes, I did have a couple of questions come in. Um, the first one was: Is the post office required to scan all mail? Um, required is a, it, they're supposed to. They're they're. Their plan is to not all mail does get scanned, um, and it's you know on letters we see typically in the high 90s getting scanned. When pieces don't, maybe one was stuck to another, uh, maybe a, a handful, a bundle bypassed it. There's there's a lot of reasons. Flat's a little more challenging because a lot of those never go through machines. So we're seeing actually the scans of the pallets and bundles as they travel. So there's no there. I mean that that is their their working process is to scan it. Um, but they, they don't scan 100%. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, I did have another question that just came in, uh, and it's regarding informed visibility. And basically just a question of, could you walk through just very briefly how the tracking works for informed, um, informed delivery again and how that kind of ties into the mail tracking? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's, uh, I, I can go, let me, let me uh, go back a little bit here. If I, yeah, I'm, I'm still in control. So with informed, with informed delivery, um, certain, some consumers are subscribers to that. And so when they subscribe to informed delivery, they sign up essentially 
And when we do the mailing, um, it, we go in every day we have someone, it, it has to be done manually right now. We go in each day and download all the, uh, all the, all the post campaign data, they call it, that shows uh, who responded to it in the mailing. Now they, don't, they just give us the serial numbers, which is why it, it, we need to be, be managing the data. So we can marry that back to um, the, uh, the mailing list. That's how we know who responded. Um, and so we roll that up into the summary reports you see here. Um, and, and again, this is all accessible through the mail tracking platform. So that's where we say they're, they're kind of integrated in that respect. And then there's, a, there's actually, if you can see it, there's a button right under here that says uh, campaign details. And if you click that, it takes you very quickly to this other page. And all these, by the way, you click up here and you can download them as, a, as, a, uh, as an Excel file. So, I mean, I think that's fundamentally how the tracking works. We get the data back from the post office. We marry it to the uh, mail, to the, to the list data from the mailing. And from that, we know how many and who, partic who uh, was participating. Okay, got it. And then one more little question along the same line. Can you explain the difference between informed visibility and informed delivery? No, I can't do it. Yes, I can. <laughs> I, was kidding. I was kidding there. Um, yeah, it's, and believe me, I wish they had named them something different. It's hard to follow. Informed visibility is the mail tracking system. That's where we get the data um, on mail as it, as, it, as it goes through the system. So we have visibility into the mail, I guess, is where they got the name from. Informed delivery is a consumer-based service that consumers can sign up for, and they can get an email every day, um, or they can go to a dashboard to see uh, that's why the, it's not 100% on the, on the uh, why it's different on the, on the emails versus everyone who subscribes. Anyway, they can go to, uh, to a dashboard and see that. And so it's really a consumer product. It's simply that the Postal Service does allow mailers to run campaigns in there. And that's what we're doing here. We're, we're, t we're replacing the black and white image that the Postal Service provides with a, with a, a cool, colorful ad. And, and, and it does, the, as a requirement, all those ads do have a button to a website. They have to, that's part of it. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, another question, is the mail tracking provided for uh, flats as accurate as the mail tracking that's provided for leather size mail? Um, uh, no, <laughs> but let me, it, it's pretty good, but let me explain that a little bit. Flats do follow a very different path. Letters are all sorted on machines, pretty much. 99, over 99% of them are sorted on machines. Flats, if you have uh, uh, flats that have been prepared in, uh, in that if, for example, in bundles that are going to a five digit or pallets that are going to a five digit, um, or just in some areas that don't have automated equipment, like Vermont is, is a state that pops into mind, um, though, then they never go through an actual piece sorter. Some, you know, some percentage of flats do um, something like, you know, 50 to 70% of flats go through that. The rest though, we are getting scans of the pallets and we know what, what pieces are in the pallets. Um, so based on that, uh, and actually the postal service does that match for us. So we can see that, um, but we don't have that. It doesn't take it down to, it's a lot of times to the sorted for the carrier level. So it's probably, you're gonna see Typically lower scan rates, you know, 70 to 95% on flats, where it's usually 95 to 100% on letters. Um, the accuracy is good, but it's just not as complete. Okay. And then one final question. I'm not surprised that this came up given what happened with mail delivery uh, at the end of 2020 and into the first month or two of this year. Um, what are you seeing now as far as average delivery times for, say, first class and marketing mail? Yeah, let me, uh, I'll run through it quickly. On, on first class mail, first class pre-sorted mail, which if, if you're a, a, a commercial mail, that's probably what you're going to be sending out. Um, that we're seeing pretty good, three and a half days. It's, it's pretty much back to the standard it was um, you know, before, uh, before the pandemic and, and the events of uh, the, the new postmaster general and the weird things like that that impacted delivery. Um, stamped first class mail, uh, which is harder for us to track, but we do track some of it. We still see that running relatively slow. It's, uh, you know, five to 10 um, business days to be delivered. So if you're putting live stamps on, on first class mail and it's not barcoded, 
or not pre-sorted, then it's, it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, you know, that's not entirely un, inconsistent with what it was before. There's just more attention given to it now. And then finally, on uh, on standard mail, we're actually seeing, because the volume's gone down a lot, it, it, the, uh, the delivery's pretty good on that, particularly most mailers these days either drop ship or go through a commingler and take mail directly to the SCF, to the sectional center where the mail's being delivered. And those, those are clear for the most part. So when it gets in there, it's usually delivered within two days. And that has, you know, that of course, that, that went haywire in December and January. But from what we see, that's pretty much back to a, back to a par now. Um, so the delivery is consistent with what it has. So definitely come, we've come a long way um, since where we were in the holiday season. Well, that, that's good to hear. <laughs> very yeah, good to makes hear. Makes me happy. Yes, yes. Well, great. Thank you very much. Uh, that wraps things up. I think that was super um, informative, even if it was a little quick. Um, of course, if anyone would like a more in-depth one-on-one sort of session uh, with the actual Snail Works mail tracking interface, we're always happy to provide that. Um, and as attendees, you will receive a link uh, to the recording and a copy of the presentation itself within the next few days. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Um, there were a couple questions we didn't quite have time to answer, which I will address offline. And thank you, Dave, very much for your time today. Okay, thank you, Sylvia. Thanks everyone for coming. Thank you.